It's a partnership you might not think of putting together, a food pantry inside of a hospital. Meg Ferris explains why this year there's an increasing number of people who need that help. Come on in, have a seat. Ten years ago, Sandria McLemore had surgery to treat breast cancer. Everything was fine until 2019, and she thought her back aches were just from arthritis. But then a blood clot gave a doctor a different clue. Metastatic breast cancer in the bone is incurable, but it is manageable. So, I mean, I could live a, a good long time. With cancer now in several places in her bones, there were radiation treatments, and times her sewing and upholstering business suffered as well. Sandria did something she's never had to do before, get help with groceries, when she felt others with cancer had a greater need. This does get me emotional. When I see so many other people downstairs that are in such bad shape. That help came from the food pantry right inside the Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center in Covington where she's being treated. Most of the food supplies come from Second Harvest Food Bank and this year the need is doubling. Screenings were delayed by the pandemic so cancer's being found at later stages. The record inflation in food and gas to travel to treatment then add that to the medical cost of cancer. One patient, because of the increased financial burden of getting cancer treatment, couldn't afford to go to the grocery store, so he started a garden to grow his own food at home. And all he could grow was potatoes, so that's all he was eating all day long. So I have people who have had, had treatment for years and years and years who have never seen Dark in My Door come in and say, never thought I'd be here, but I need your help. And the help is not just financial, it's for better health as well. Either people uh, have less money to purchase food or they're buying cheaper food. And sometimes buying cheaper food is, is not the best thing. A good, well-balanced diet, one maybe high in protein, helps with your overall health. And we need your overall health as good as possible to be able to go through some of these treatments for cancer. It came in very, very handy for me at a time when I was low on funds, and uh, it was a godsend. It really was. It was a blessing. And that blessing is for all the cancer patients here. No one is turned away. From Covington, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.